back again with another review this time with my friend Jamie here and uh, Jamie's an engineer I work with him and he is the coolest kind of engineer the kind that actually likes doing engineering stuff outside of work so uh, Jamie tell me a little bit about this printer uh, what we have here is the eMaker Huxley uh, it's a very small compact 3d printer uh, it takes in the filament and then pushes it through this tube and then extrudes it out in thin little strands and builds up a uh, model uh, layer by layer. So what are we building right here right now? Uh, currently I'm printing out this 3D model here. It's a little skull. It's a little cartoonish. Uh, I thought it looked cool. I thought it'd be a pretty cool model to show off here for this video. And oh. that'd be sweet, especially if you put like a little, you could put like a little LED light in it or something for like, it'd be awesome, like glowing pink or glowing white or whatever. Yeah. That'd be kind of, cause, cause, is it hollow inside or is it sealed up or how's that work? Uh, the current model I'm printing out right now is uh, completely sealed up, but these three models are available open source. You can download them, modify them, and do exactly that. Put LEDs, put little electronics. Cool. That's awesome. So uh, here, show me some of these other things that you printed here too. Uh, so here we've got three different hands. Uh, what I did here was I had three different plastics. All three are PLA, um, but I had purple, white, and yellow, and I wanted to test out uh, what the differences were between the plastics as far as temperatures and so forth. So I printed this out as sort of a test model. And if you look at it, uh, the purple one really came out a lot better than the white one, but the yellow one really shows a lot of detail, so. The white one looks like a Pretty mummy cool. hand, kind of like strips of, you know, uh, bandages falling off of it. Yeah, it looks very cool. And my favorite's probably, actually my new favorite's probably this puzzle. Actually it was designed originally by someone in Japan who then created a three model of it and uploaded it to Thingiverse. But essentially it's a four pieces, two of them, are identical to each other and uh, they goes together and uh, is assembled simultaneously that's and why it's so hard to solve you got to like be pulling four different ways just to get it apart yes <laughs> you're gonna have a hard time trying to solve that thing so you've got four parts here and then together they form a cube and uh, the neat thing about this is I mean, you print this out on your printer you know in 30 minutes you have a puzzle that you can try and solve and uh, it's it's just the coolest thing to think that someone on the other side of the world could design this thing and upload it to the internet and 30 minutes later have it printed on the opposite side of the world and have someone already working on the puzzle. It's, I know, that thing's awesome. It's very cool. I like the 3D modeling stuff too. Let's take a look at some of the different things that you could print also. Uh, this originally was a ring uh, that they uploaded and I just thought it looked a lot cooler as a bracelet. Oh, <laughs> one ring to rule them all. Yep. So this is an unfinished print of uh, Master Chief from Halo 3. And uh, you can see all the little details in his fingers and the polygon mesh from the original model. Obviously this is a low polygon count model. Uh, so here's an actual working clock. You can print out each component and put it together and have a, a clock that works with no batteries. It's all like a like an old school grandfather clock with just using gravity to power it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, this website is called Thingiverse. The people upload all kinds of files. Uh, here you got a cathedral that's a multi-part print. You print out each part and then assemble it. And then you also have uh, parts like this which have some utilitarian purposes. Like uh, These are uh, iPhone headphones uh, that you can stick into his eyes and then wrap around and it sort of helps you oh, nice. um, so put your, your cord from getting tangled basically exactly when you store it in your pocket it keeps you keeps you tangle free and then some people like to uh, be a little exaggerated and uploaded detailed models of the terminator that you can print out on your 3d printer that's awesome so this is actually a 3d scanner for his uh for his 3D printer, but I, it's not set up right now and we can't set it up while it's printing, but this is what it looks like. Kind of, to me, it looks like a Kinect. He built the handle himself out of, uh, from the printer. You have these 3D cameras that can actually, um, it emits a structured light out of this infrared light emitter, it's a laser. And then you have these cameras that pick up 
uh, both texture, so your normal color image, and then you, you have this camera here, which picks up that infrared signal. Here's the app. What's the name of the app? This app is called Trimensional. It takes multiple shots of your face being lit from multiple angles and then um, interpolates the position in three-dimensional space creating a three mesh. As you see here you can see the polygons that form the 3D model. It's pretty amazing and then it's all done on your iPhone. Let's, uh, do you have a like one that's without the texture on there? Uh, like that? Yeah. So you can see the depth at that point. And then you can actually go and print off of that that file. Okay, where well, the printing job is done, and uh, the print the skull is actually in two halves, and then you just attach the halves. So Jamie's going to go ahead and detach them now. There you have it. Your Let me skull. take it. Mr. Copper Pot. Completed skull, and it's actually in two halves. See, so it prints faster that way, and it has a flat surface to print from. All right, thanks for watching my review of the eMaker Huxley 3D printer. Uh, I want to thank Jamie for all the help and info on the printer and showing me all his models. And uh, if you want to help me out, give me a like down here below and subscribe up here. And it'll really help me out a lot. And uh, I'll, you'll get to see more reviews. And uh, thanks for watching. Aloha.